Well, there, there are a number of things that have happened. Certainly, uh, since the beginning of the year, Cyprus happened, uh, and that has thrown more uncertainty uh, into uh, the cycle. And the other thing that's happened is that financial assets in general, ma across many asset classes, have really been on a tear. You know, everything, uh, evaluation is up in many areas. You know, equity markets have been very, very high. Um, many regulators have cited their concerns about the high yield and leveraged markets. And it's, I think there's a general feeling that uh, things don't have that much further to go. Hmm. Now, I want to ask you about defaults because the outlook is still negative, but it looks like it's getting better. Uh, why you think that could change, actually, despite what the survey says? So what do you see going on there? Well, I, th I think there's a lot of um, uh, good news already taken into account into people's predictions. And there's certainly a feeling that if there's anything that goes awry, um, things could fall apart very, very quickly. And I think the, the markets in general are reacting to uh, a lot of these unexpected news items uh, with a lot of alarm. I mean, just a couple of days ago, you saw the report from China. They had very, very good growth, but just a bit lower than expected. And equity markets tumbled, uh, gold tumbled. You know, lots of things were going uh, haywire as a result. Things have since bounced back. But I think that's uh, a reflection of the uncertainty in the market. So any little thing can really kind of shift things off this uh, 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 not too uh, uh, warm, not too cold uh, prediction of the future that we've been on. And uh, I think there's a lot of uncertainty uh, out there that could knock things off uh, the current track. Although it's interesting because it seems like within the Fed, some of the comments as of late talk about ending the bond buying program maybe sooner rather than later. So it's interesting that the markets are looking at some of these negative factors and really thinking the worst about economic growth or, or thinking less positive, if you will. Well, it's, 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 uh, it's not yet negative. It's really a uh, uh, plateau, I guess. You know, the, there's most people uh, in the survey predict that things are going to be unchanged. There's some who think it's going to be get better, some who get worse, but actually those numbers balance out almost completely. So there's a majority who think things are going to be unchanged, and there's a bit of uncertainty around the margins, which I think really describes where we're at uh, right now very well. We've, we've hit a fairly high valuation level across many asset classes, especially credit asset classes, and uh, we have some uncertainty around that. So if there are any surprises in the marketplace, things could certainly uh, change very quickly. You say we might be, in fact, in the fourth quarter of the bull market. So what do you mean by that? Well, uh, as I said, the, the asset valuations uh, across many classes have gotten very, very high. And, and one of the things we've been focusing on, uh, certainly our members have been focusing on, is high yield market and leveraged loan markets. That's looking um, uh, uh, at very, very high levels uh, with spreads uh, extremely thin and also structures getting back to uh, some things that happened pre-crisis, you know, loans that were lighter on covenants and structures that are much more favorable to borrowers and, and much uh, less favorable to lenders. And I think that's a sign of uh, uh, lots of cash uh, chasing yield uh, in these markets. Uh, and certainly central bank action has an effect on all of that. And uh, any significant change in central bank policy uh, will throw us off the track that we're on.